Well, three years ago, Google set an ambitious plan to address climate change by deciding to achieve net zero by 2030. This meant that it would release no more climate changing gases into air than it removes. However, a report from the company shows it is nowhere near meeting those goals. According to the company's annual environmental report, Google's emissions have surged nearly 50% since 2019. Additionally, its emissions grew 13% in 2023 over the year before. And as per the tech giant, artificial intelligence is uh, the reason for last year's emission growth. According to the company, with AI, uh, the demand for energy for data centers has gone up even more. These data centers consume massive amounts of electricity for computing and to cool equipment. Experts say that the rapidly expanding data centers needed to power AI threaten the entire transition to clean electricity. That's because a new data center with its need for electricity can delay the closure of the power plant that burns fossil fuel. Furthermore, data centers are also challenging the sustainability pledges of other major tech companies. For instance, Microsoft's carbon emissions have risen 30% since 2020 due to data center expansion and it could get worse. Now, according to the International Energy Agency, global data center and AI electricity demand could double by 2026. So we have to understand that if we are using more energy to do something, that energy we want to push for it to come from renewable and low carbon sources as much as possible. But we also have to ask the question, what's the benefit we're getting from this data center or from this use of AI? Is it benefiting humanity? Is it making our lives better? Is it making our society more equitable? Now, Microsoft and Google have been front runners in an AI race since OpenAI released ChatGPT in late 2022 to tackle the impact of AI on climate. Google and Microsoft have each pledged to be carbon neutral by the end of this decade. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.